Uh, I'm Bill Wood. I'm the owner of Willwood Disc Brakes, Willwood Engineering. And uh, anymore now, I mostly just wander around and try to look like I'm doing something while a bunch of other people run my company. <laughs> We started out making brakes for racing. Uh, we continue to make brakes for racing. We also make brakes for hot rods and aftermarket and just about anything you have, including, you know, agricultural combines and the military Hummer. And uh, we do up armored vehicles. Just we we. We're a specialty brake company. If you're not General Motors and you don't need a million brakes, but you need a good brake and in relatively small quantities, we got them. I started in my, literally put the first brakes together at my kitchen table and just kind of went from there. Over time, it kept growing and different stuff. And I, I was, I was blessed with having a, a talented people come work for me. And uh, we, over the years, you know, I've collected. There's a pile of people at Willwood that have worked here for 30, 35 years. And we're, we built this place, and it wasn't. It, it was as much them or more them than it was me. I, I basically just kept us, I spent a lot of time trying to make sure we didn't run out of money and we kept making breaks. The third set of breaks I ever made, I dragged over to Riverside International Raceway, the NASCAR cars were there. And I talked my way into the garage area and somebody suggested I talk to this guy, Richard, that he knew a lot about brakes and maybe he'd be interested. And I got introduced to Richard Petty and he put the, took the third set of brakes I ever made and put on his race car and ran them. <laughs> and at the time, I knew that was kind of a big deal, but I didn't really realize, <laughs> you know, and that's what got us going. All of a sudden, you know, the, there were other people people interested, you know, and it became a matter of trying to figure out how to make breaks rather than how to sell them to anybody. So that was kind of, that was, that was pretty cool. We didn't have computers to design things on. We didn't have finite element analysis to analyze what the shape of a caliper would be or how the heat flow would go through it and that kind of, you know, we, you know, the I designed the first calipers on my kitchen table uh, on paper uh, and made some wooden patterns and we then made castings off the wooden patterns. Uh, that's not how we do it now. I mean, now it's all designed on a 3D CAD system with finite element analysis and uh, the, you know, the, the break, they're much lighter they're much uh, more resistant to heat. It, it's really been a matter of fine tuning the applications to, you know, and the particular uh, product to the particular needs of a, of a particular application. And we continue to do that. And, you know, the, and we have a lot of fancy computerized AI type tools to do that. I don't know that this industry would exist in the way that it does without PRI. I mean, it's been, it allows everybody to get together. It allows a lot of our customers to, to, to be, us to meet our customers, our customers to meet us, to meet our competitors, to meet the other people in the industry. And uh, I think, 
you know, if it, you know, if it didn't exist, somebody would have to invent it, you know. But it's been, it's definitely been a major uh, s source of growth for, for Willwood. I'm Bill Wood, and I am PRI.